Okay, Sony, gamers want to know why they should purchase your new console, the PlayStation 5 Pro. What do you got for us? The fire. Ah... Uh... VR games. Hmm. Maybe you were taking out the trash early. Everyone does that, man. You take the trash out early, you don't have to do it later in the day, man. All right, now that that's out of the way, what else you got, Sony? A new photo mode lets players set up the perfect picture with your choice of poses, expressions, and filters. All right, DLC for games that are already on the PS5. Oh, because when we were young and we wanted the Xbox 360 or the PS3, we were looking for the DLCs. Oh my God, Sony. You just came up with a new idea that I did not know was an idea. Lunar Remastered Collection brings together Lunar, the Silver Star Story Complete. Dude, how can I be so stupid, guys? Gamers don't want new IPs or backwards compatibility to old PlayStation games. No, of course not. We want remasters so Sony can enhance the lighting, charge us $50 for a game that we loved as a child that they threw in the jail. And when they don't have anything to release, you just release them instead of making it backwards compatible. Oh my god, dude, it's like nearly impossible nowadays to do backwards compatibility. It's not like their competitor across the street does it. From the release of Dragon Age the Veilgarn. Flag on the play, Sony. You can't just call up Capcom and Bioware to give you guys a trailer of a game that's already been announced. You're just doing that to fill up the fucking timer. It's a 10 yard penalty. Come back with a new game. Aloy's original adventure horizon zero dawn is being remastered for ps5 and pc i said new game sony horizon zero dawn remastered is not a new game sony it's in the way of an unspeakable evil ah! uh, uh, join them as they explore hunt collect wacky outfits and decorate their village okay actually go back to horizon zero dawn remastered i don't want this one sony we get it you love horizon you like you keep mentioning that game over and over again guys i don't think sony has recovered from the debacle of horizon forbidden in West dropping the same month as the game of all gods, Elden Ring. It's okay, Sony. We all have that one friend that loves these games, but cannot convince the crew to play it. Alright, sit down, Sony. Give me something new and unique. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Now this, this is good, Sony. Really good job, man. It only took you 19 other games to find it. God, man. In all honesty, man, this day play was... It was something, man. Like, I just, I'm getting tired of remakes and remasters, man. Like, we all know Sony could do backwards compatibility, but they make a good chunk of change from remasters and remakes. We all know it, man. I, I don't know why, why it's taking them so long to bring some of them to their library, all right, in the PlayStation catalog and why it's taking so long to do like franchises that are like non-existent nowadays like horizon seriously seriously you could not have think of any other ps3 game any other early playstation 4 game you know that one playstation 4 game that everyone fucking wants you thought of horizon and the reason you're remastering your games is because it will lock the ps4 price too because the goal is to keep the price within ten dollars right so if it's fifty dollars the PS4 game will be 40. You get what I'm saying? So it's always going to be at that 40 price point. But in reality, it, the price should just go down as is. But it won't because it's the remastered version has to be $10 more. And they refuse to drop that price, obviously. And I just, I just don't get it. Like Ghost 2, Ghost of Tsushima sequel, good idea. We, I, I knew you had something cooking up, okay? I had a feeling you had something, especially after the PS5 Pro debut. I knew you had something. But, like, you can't just put third-party games in your state of play when you desperately need a game to sell your console. Like, Monster Hunter Wilds and Dragon Age, like, those are gonna be great games. We all know that, okay? But we already seen the trailers for the game. Why is it here? You're just using it to fill up the time. Like, we know, like, what do you guys have? I'm not buying a console from Capcom. I'm not buying a console from Bioware. I'm buying it from Sony. What games does Sony have on the PlayStation that's gonna make me buy it? 
you know especially with just the price of gaming nowadays dude like 70 dollars is fucking insane and like half of them aren't even meeting the quality of a 70 dollar purchase so like why are we as consumers having to dumb down be like man that's just how the industry is man no it shouldn't be like that why are we getting fucked over the most we earned our money holding them accountable for it you know when they're being lazy because it's not their money it's our money it's people who work those hard shifts and shit like that man that's why whenever i do my reviews of 70 dollars games i go pretty hard on them i want your money to be spent on good shit you know i'll waste my money here and there man i don't fucking do it for for video sake i don't give a shit but like it just it just sucks man it really does like i i i thought they would have at least two games like in total like i knew they had like ghost because they brought the other one to pc so i had a feeling they did that but like i was expecting maybe a death stranding 2 wolverine maybe an update something new man like originality is what sells games dude i'm telling you bro indie games bro <laughs> man it's like you're putting a gun to their head bro they go to production hell they don't have enough funding bro and it's just about the idea that's gonna sell the product it's not the studio behind it it's the idea and that's why indie games are so much better in quality nowadays because the industry now just wants to do remakes and remasters it just doesn't make real sense guys it, it really doesn't dude like you could do backwards compatibility we all know you can like xbox does it and i'm saying something good about xbox in the longest time we don't want to spend more money on games we just want to revisit as you know when we were young i don't want to spend fucking 50 dollars for a game i played as a child i would but like it's just scummy the way it's happening now because it's it's more consistent now you know if a remake was like an occasional thing that would pop up in gaming it wouldn't be a big deal but like companies nowadays just want to do remakes over and over again and i'm just like dude what makes a good game is also the story and if i know what's happening in the story i just i don't know man it's takes me out a little bit you know i'm just there for nostalgia at that point you know and i just want games to like feel up to the standard it, it's pricing you know and if we are going to the age of like let's say playstation 6 and the xbox 2 or whatever comes out next to consoles and they're gonna probably up the prices to 80 dollars you gotta match the quality you gotta match the value you gotta match the price with the value you really do because it's not fair it's not fair i mean y'all know me i will be here till i die okay pretty much i'm gonna be doing videos so i die um and i'm gonna be spending my money any other way so it doesn't fucking matter to me but i'm gonna do my damn best to be honest this all time you know anyway that was the state play it was it was something man i i, I just i don't <laughs> i don't know man it, it was it was that anyway guys i hope you all enjoy i'll see you all in the next one